Hey guys, CJ here. So, as you can tell, we have that brand new survey for the uh, actual activities that are going to go ha- going to go on during our eco living pack. And I wanted to go through it with y'all so y'all could get an idea. Obviously, first one up is region, and it's weird because English is not a region, so it either means language slash region so it's just really kind of weird but english is what i'm gonna put but i have not looked through this i've kind of seen that some people have done it but i haven't looked at it myself um so let's start with if the screen wants to get bigger it's having issues right now there it goes First one is food preserves. This is the gameplay feature, grouping. So thankfully they situated into groups because we had that long sheet of paper of different ideas and so I'm glad they did this. So food preserves, the laundry section off the grid, and carbon conscious. Now, off the top of my head, I like off the grid just because I did the off the grid challenge on my own last year and it was... It was pretty cool. So this would have been really nice to help with that. But anyway, let's go through these. Food preserves, a collection of features that add new things to do with your harvestable fruits and vegetables, allowing your sim to produce and store food for personal use or profit. All right. Canning and preserving, a new countertop electric canning pot that allows him to take harvestables and preserve them for long-term storage or to make fresh jams. That's really cool because currently once you harvest things, you use them for cooking and and then not much else. And so it'd be cool to be able to do other stuff with it. Uh, when at any at any point the sim can retrieve the hard vegetables as fresh as the day they were canned, that's cool. Like if you accidentally do something and change your mind, you can reverse it. When fruit is turned into a jam, new recipes are available to make toast and jam, bagel and jam, or scones with jam. I think it's interesting that jam is the only one, but that's okay. I mean, it would be cool if we had, like, cinnamon apples, but, eh. It's still pretty cool. Nectar making. We had this in The Sims 3, and so it's cool coming back. A new nectar maker object paired with the new nectar making skill. So we get a new skill out of it. it. That's pretty awesome. Use of this object allows Sims to use grapes and other harvestables to create nectar. So it's not just grapes. It probably would allow strawberries, uh... Many other fruits. I can't think off the top of my head, but we have a lot of them. Uh, Which then can be aged into nectar aging racks to increase the value of the bottled nectar. That's legitimate real life, so that's really cool that they were able to do that. New varieties of grapes would be available for planting or harvesting for sims with the gardening skill. That's cool. Personally, I do know that there was a grape that was supposed to taste like cotton candy that came out last year. And I sadly missed it. I wish I had it, but Never got a chance to try them before they ran out. Superfood harvestable plant, a new harvestable plant. Which type of plant? Not yet determined. Superfood would add new recipes, which is cool, or have the option of being added to some existing recipes to make them healthier. This is this is cool. It's an add-on to food, but personally, I don't like to do a lot of the gardening skill stuff unless it's part of the challenge or I need money. Because gardening gets you a lot of money once you get it going. Just, eh, it's not really my thing. Laundry. Now, this is the big thing that everybody is interested in just about. I kind, I like the idea. But I know it could also be kind of a, annoying depending. But let's read it together. An optional gameplay system that only is an uh, that's only used by the active household when laundry objects are placed in the Sims home lot. So unless you put the things, they're not going to work. Mood lists and modifiers to the decay rate of certain needs. Service some of the benefits and pushbacks of the system. Washing machine. Sims can use the washing machine to clean dirty clothes that are collected from a hamper or from piles of clothes on the ground. That's what Sims 3 did. Object could break, be upgraded, and potentially have a fun interaction or a funny failure. That's cool. Dryer. Sims can take clothes that have just been cleaned in the washing machine or the wash tub and have them dried. So there's either a washing machine or a wash tub. So there's two different things. That's cool. Uh, ham- object could break as well as being upgraded. Good. Hamper. When it- We have those in 
uh, base pack came with that and Parenthood came with a new one. So that's good. Oh, so I guess they're going to add more because of this. When a sim in the active household changes their outfit on their home lot, laundry is added to the hamper as long as it exists anywhere on the lot. That is fantastic. In Sims 3, when we had laundry, it was so annoying because my sim would keep changing clothes and the laundry would just be piled all over the house. And I would have to go through and clean up all the time. So I'm glad that it just goes phew, straight to the hamper. Over time, the hamper gradually fills up. If there is no hamper, the hamster's hamper. I said hamster, I'm sorry. Hamper is full, then clothes pile appears on the ground. Clothesline. Sims who prefer to be the eco-conscious can choose to use a clothesline as an alternative to the dryer. And I think the image would be so adorable having them just putting their clothes on the clothesline. And using clothesline does not require power and offer saving on the weekly bill. But it does take longer to dry. So thankfully we don't have seasons yet. So hopefully we will. So we won't have rain coming down or wind taking away our clothes on the line. But it will help with the bill. And it would be a really cute, like, image. Alright, wash tub. Sims who prefer to be eco-conscious can choose to use a wash tub as an alternative to a washing machine. Using a wash tub does not require power or water. That's weird. And offers savings on the weekly bill, but the sim must remain at the object to wash their clothes by hand. Can choose to use a wash tub as an alternative to a washing machine. Using a wash tub does not require power or water. It's repeating itself. Don't know why it repeated itself. But anyway, I think it's weird that it says do not require power or water because it's a wash tub. You need water to wash. But I do like the image of what this could look like. Like the old timey Wild Western things where they had the wash, metal wash bucket, and then the uh, wash rack thing and they had to scrub the clothes on it. And it's really cute. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. All right. Then we have off the grid. Um, to disconnect from utilities and live off the land. Off the grid lot trait, which all of this would have been so great for that challenge. I don't know if it would have been cheating or not, but it would be great. When this lot is selected, the lot no longer receives electricity or water utilities. Bills are significantly reduced or eliminated altogether. Well pump, water well. An object that provides a means of acquiring water. Sims would be required to occasionally pump water. An attached reservoir would display how much water is remaining to supply a lot before the well must be pumped again. That's cool, so you would actually have the ability to watch that. If the reservoir is empty, objects requiring water become trans transparently, temporarily unusable if the off-the-grid lot is active, reduces weekly bills, and has the potential to break or have upgrades. Cool. Solar panels. We had these in Sims 3. They weren't too usable they were just literally something you put on the roof and it helped lower the money but i i do like the idea of them i personally would prefer to have them on any house i own in real life so i like the idea of them being in the sims an object that provides a means of acquiring power sim would be required to occasionally calibrate and clean the solar panels so it couldn't be on the roof unless you had roof access to ensure it can still supply enough power to the lot if panels are not maintained, then objects requiring power become temporarily unusable if the off-the-grid lot trade is active. Reduces weekly bills and has potential upgrades. May look like a traditional solar panel or a mayor to be a tree made of solar panels. Ooh. Will be a ground placeable object only. So, good. Because, as I said, if it was on the roof, like it was in, in Sims 3, you'd need a roof access point. So, it's great that it's a ground placeable object, but that means you... Depends on how big it's going to be. So you're going to have to be aware of that whenever you're placing a lot or designing a lot. Wind turbine. An object that provides a means of acquiring power. Some would be required to occasionally calibrate and clean the wind turbine to ensure it can still supply enough power to the lot. If the wind turbine is not maintained, then objects requiring power become temporarily unusable if the off-the-grid lot trait is active. Reduces weekly bills. Anyway, back to that. What it sounds like is we could have them... Like, we don't need to have the off-the-grid lot trait to have the well pump, the solar panels, or the wind turbine. But it is useful. It just means that if we do have it and something breaks, we don't have power. But you could always have power in any other house if you don't have that lot trait. Reduces weekly bills and has potential upgrades. May look like a residential wind turbine on a pole or may appear to be a tree made of small wind turbines as leaves. I 
am going to be very excited to see these little trees. Like, I would love to have a solar panel tree and a wind turbine tree. Oh, they'd be adorable. Now, next one, Carbon Conscious, a collection of features that allows them to reduce their carbon emissions in a variety of ways. We don't have too many of that. We don't have the cars anymore, so, which I wish we had cars, but whatever. So, we don't have cars, so that is already something we don't have to worry about. But Freegan Trait, Sims with the Freegan Trait have interactions to rummage in large or small trash cans, potentially elsewhere, to scrounge ingredients. We'll include some new ingredients to discover apple core, banana peel, etc. New ingredients will be used to prepare some new recipes that Freegan Sims will love. Freegan Sims can eat spoiled food without getting sick. Freegan Sims always want to use the composter object and will receive special moodlets when doing so. So this would be a great trait to have if you were going to do the runaway challenges or uh, whichever challenge that means you have zero, no house, no money, nothing. This would be a good trait to have. I don't know if it would count as cheating for it being a challenge, but this would make it so much easier to survive and everything. But again, that might be ruining the whole challenge aspect. Composter, an object that Sims can use to dispose trash, dead plants, spoiled food, harvestables, and to scrape the remains of meals into. As the composter is filled, the contents are converted into fertilizer. Fertilizer is then used on harvestables in accordance with the gardening skill. So that's good. Recycling, recycle bins can be placed from build mode that function differently than trash cans. Sims with certain traits. So we're going to have more traits than just the freegan trait, or we're going to use traits of its own currently. We'll prefer to use a recycle bin when available and we'll receive special moodlets for doing so. Sims will have an option to rummage through existing trash cans to sort their contents for re recycling. Sims will have an option to take the recycling they've collected to a recycle center. Sim will walk off the lot and disappear and return a short while later with extra simoleons. So it's a rabbit hole built in the game, like going to the opera if you have that. And so they go to the recycle center. That's cool. I like it. I, out of these four, honestly, I really like the off the grid because I really, really like the solar panels and the wind turbine. So that's what I'm going to vote for. And we're going to go on to the next thing and discuss that. Nope, that was it. That was the one I picked. I don't know what y'all picked. Let me know if you want to discuss it. Tell me what you liked about that one or any of the others, what you're looking forward to. I think it's going to be really great stuff pack. I'm really looking forward to it. And anyway, thank you for listening and I hope you have a great day wherever you are. CJ out. Bye.